Dora, do to do do to Dora, do to do do to Dora, do to do do to Dora. Hola, well, hello there. Today we will be discussing about population dynamics. Are you ready? Well, come on now and join me on my journey. Hmm, I think we need a help from a friend. The map! In our map, we have here our mind map. Can you guess what it's about? Correct! It's about population dynamics. Population dynamics is the study of how and why populations develop and evolve over time. Levels of reproduction, death, and migration are all important aspects of population dynamics. In population dynamics, density is the result of a dynamic interplay between processes that add individuals to a population and those that remove individuals from it. The population dynamics has three parts, which are the limiting factors, the population size, and population growth. In population dynamics, limiting factors is anything that constrains a population size and slows or stops it from growing. Its limiting factors has density dependent and density independent. In density dependent, it causes disease, predation, and competition. While in density independent, it causes disasters and extreme weather. And its population size, which is the number of individuals in a population, the increase of it affects the natality and immigration. And when it decreases, it also affects the mortality and immigration. In population growth, which is the increase in the number of individuals in a population, which has four phases, which are lag, log, static, and death. We also have here the two types of growth patterns, which are the exponential or J-shaped growth pattern and logistic or sigmoidal or S-shaped growth pattern. And that brings us to the end. Thank you so much for watching our presentation.